Manila has some of the biggest shopping malls in the whole of Asia. Indeed, um, the one I'm in now is called uh, Mega Mall because it was probably, still is, one of the biggest in, uh, in Asia. And they really are uh, big places and you wonder how they all survive because there's a lot of them. But when you're in a country of 120 million, you just see the traffic in and around Manila, you realize there's a lot of people. And look, you've got floors going down and you've got floors going up and there's a lot of people. Um, they might not be right immediately in front of me, but you look around and there's a lot of footfall here. All the big brands, there is certainly a, a haves and have nots in this country. But again, if you're really into shopping, if you're leaving Manila very quickly, and the whole point I'm making in the article which will be featuring this is the basically the, the need to stay in Manila if you want to see a number of things. And if you're really into your shopping, shopping is one of them. These things seem to go on forever. You can see they peel off and they go hundreds of meters. I am not walking slowly and you can't actually see <laughs> I could, I could be in a running race and it'd be 200 meters and I can barely see the end. They stretch a long, long way these. And they're full of brands and they're full of people and they've got mobile phones and there's a lot of people who have money. There's a lot of people who don't. You've got SMDC here, they're selling apartments, they're driving apartments forward. And there's the... Uh, mega sale and so it goes on so if you're really into your shopping and you want to see you know a bit more of what's happening in this country then stick around in manila and go to some of the shopping malls there's plenty of them and there's plenty of places to see all right bye bye